Have you ever been out shooting and got caught in torrential rain? Or drop your camera into the water doing a seascape? Water damage is quite common. And today we're going to pitch a few different solutions for you to potentially fix your water damage camera. Josh, I've been waiting like weeks for this Fujifilm X-T1 to come in and um, look, let me show you it. Night. Oh. The camera we've chosen for the water damaging is our old beloved Fujifilm X-T1. It's got a nice cracked LCD and it turns on and it's working. Rest in peace. <laughs> so before we even try any kind of water damage solution, the first thing you have to do is take out everything out of your camera. SD cards, batteries, and open all the doors so you can let all the water out. Oh, yeah. So after you've shaken out all the water on the inside of the camera, make sure to pat it down with a towel just to get it as dry as you can on the outside, but make sure not to touch the internals of the camera. So what we're going to do for our first solution is we're going to dunk this baby in some rice. Let's go get some because I forgot to buy some rice. <laughs> So once you've acquired your rice, what you want to do is put it into a container. Oh crap. And the reason why we chose this particular type of rice uh, was not because it has the most effectiveness in absorbency, but it's because it was the cheapest one in the supermarket. And once the rice is in the container, you want to dunk that camera straight in. It probably would have been smarter if I had put the camera in first and then <laughs> poured the rice on it. Because uh, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> but you want to leave it in here for about three or four days before taking it back out. And now that your camera is fully submerged in rice, just hope that in a few days time, it'll all be fixed. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna take it to the next solution and that's chucking it through a dryer. So if you don't own a hair dryer or a blow dryer, what you can do is head to your local Macca's and just chuck it through the hand dryer in the bathroom. <laughs> And if all else fails, we're gonna leave it to mother nature to fix this. Our last solution, which is definitely the easiest one, is to open your preferred internet browser and type in georges.com.au where you can explore our large range of dry cameras. Today, I'm going to choose my dream camera, which is the Fujifilm XP140. I'm just going to add that to cart because it's waterproof. And hit checkout now and you pick up the camera in store and get it shipped directly to your house. In most cases, water damaged cameras are pretty much bust. Now, with the methods we have suggested today, definitely if you're going to try one of them to try and save your camera, we highly recommend going the rice method and please ignore the other two because we're fairly sure they won't work. Anyway, please, if any of you have more damaged cameras and you've tried any of our methods today and it has worked, please pop it in the comments below and let us know. For any future updates, hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our latest videos as we upload weekly.